Jaws made them scary, the Meg made them big, and NATO made them blow. But in 1999, the same shark movie we get every five years came with a twist. These sharks are smart, and this movie is dumb. You got a nasty looking tongue, you know that? Mm. Deep Blue Sea. Suit up for the ultimate B-movie. This isn't a good fella, this is a bad fella! Okay, second ultimate B-movie. And journey under the sea to a lab built for one purpose, to trap its employees underwater. The elevator seals off automatically to keep the shaft from filling. There's no way up. Exits are flooded, the whole place is sinking. And also to cure Alzheimer's by sucking out the brains of unconscious super sharks? As a side effect, the sharks got smarter. Okay, sure. Whatever. In this poor man's ripoff of Jurassic Park. Welcome to Aquatica. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Complete with approaching tropical storm, running on a skeleton crew on their most important weekend. Sam Jackson, hiding in a kitchen scene, and guy who gets eaten for resetting the power. But instead of the iconic John Williams score, LL Cool J gets to rap about how his hat is like a shark's fin. Deep as blue as my hat is like a shark's fin. It isn't though. Go down under with the shadiest group of shark snacks since Boys Night on the Orca. I had a drink about an hour ago. Whether it's the mysterious badass with a past. I don't make waves. I meet the terms of my parole. The former preacher with a past. I have loved the pulpit and I've loved the bottle. The head scientist with a past. We violated the Harvard Compact. Or the CEO with a past. Seven of us survived the slide and only five made it out. But in his case, that past never involved asking what he spent billions and billions of dollars on. So, what exactly does a shark wrangler do? Treat me like a tourist. Wow. Just what the hell did you do to those sharks? Somebody, please, tell me what that is. Well, that's a fair question, actually. It's Stellan Skarsgård attached to a gurney, about to turn your lab window into Skarsgård shark charts. Wow, try saying that five times fast. Skarsgård shark charts, Skarsgård shark charts, shark Skarsgård charts. Ah, forget it. Strap in for the only Christian shark movie you need to see, or even knew existed, where God's vengeful creatures attack teenagers for premarital sex and drinking. Punish evil scientists for defying the natural order. What in God's creation? Oh, not his. Ours. And one of the only two to make it out alive is named Preacher. Nice. Maybe I'm just reading into things, but help me out here. Wouldn't you rather watch Deep Blue Sea in Sunday School than sing Father Abraham a thousand times? Can I get an amen? amen. I hear you, man. So get ready to stare ominously out a porthole. React to tremors like the original cast of Star Trek. and get absolutely drenched over and over and over again. For a film with just enough shark schlock to prove that the only thing harder than making a good shark movie is making a good bad shark movie. Never thought I'd say this, but Sharknado kinda had the right idea. Starring the Punish Shark. I've had it with these monkey fighting sharks in this Monday to Friday lab. Sitting on the dock with Cool J. Ah, probably want a rapper. Michael Rappaport as himself. Who are you gonna trust? You trust me. She smart sea sharks on the sea floor. Uh, ocean water, I guess, is what they were going for. And all these <clears throat> homages to Jaws. The Shark Tank Redemption. You know, I'm usually against needless sequels, but if this is a prequel to a Street Sharks movie, I am so on board. And so is Vin Diesel. Head Shark! A thousand years ago, this land was green and good until the crystal cracked. Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizards. I kick ass for the Lord. Now available to own on video cassette.
Uh, wiki wild wild wiki wiki wild wiki wild wiki wiki wild 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 west. <laughs>